Good morning. So, what am I up to today? Well, I finally got the boards for my school. And so that's something I need to uh, work on. I'm going to show you how to populate a circuit board. That'll be cool. But I always have a really hard time working on things when there's like a mess or things are in a disarray. I really need to work on that desk. Can't see it, it's kind of blurry, but it has stuff all over it. So from the last time I cleaned it, I slowly work on these little projects and it they get they don't get finished and they're just little experiments and they just pile up and everything gets piled up. So I always force myself to really clean up before I start a project I need to concentrate on because I have a really tough time concentrating when there is a mess. So I'm going to clean up my whole room and then I'll show you how to assemble a circuit board. That should be pretty cool. Check this out. This is an old picture from my grandpa's watch repair shop and that's his workbench which happens to be my workbench. Before I get to the circuit board I just wanted to talk about this for a few seconds because it's pretty cool. This workbench was built by my grandpa. He designed it after a typical watch repair bench but instead of going out and buying one he knew he could build one, so that's what he did. That was the mentality that he had. If there was a tool or something that he needed and he knew he could build it, that's the way he would go. This was a huge inspiration in my life and continues to inspire me now. I think it's a strive to constantly improve your own skills and build on yourself and build your knowledge and to be less reliant on anyone but yourself. No one can help you but yourself. You have to realize that you're the only person in control of your own life. Okay, let's get to it. But first check this out. All these other drawers are filled with my stuff. But I left this one drawer. He was pretty organized. I don't even know if there's anything in these, but there's a lot of them. Okay, now let's get to it. So that is just solder paste. And when I stick it in the oven, that stuff will turn into solder. You'll see that in a bit. components on it ready to be baked well not all the components I'm gonna do some by hand after yep it's actually a toaster oven So the board is about 90% done. I could probably program it now, so I'm gonna try. But looks like it might rain outside. You know what that means. Gotta go take some pictures or something. Always. All right, so the board, it's not working yet. It needs some troubleshooting. I think I know which components are the culprit. I can't really program it or anything, but Assembly was a success, 
So obviously a little bit of troubleshooting. It's the first design prototype. And uh yeah, pretty successful day. I'm going to see Carrie now and I don't know, is it gonna rain? Might thunderstorm. I'm hoping it'll thunderstorm. Let's go. So I built up a lot of uh, footage for a while before I started doing the vlog. I, I got a whole bunch of time lapses that I thought maybe I would use for cutscenes, some filler, maybe if I didn't get enough footage in the day. But I'm really surprised that I haven't had to use anything yet. Uh, there was the one where I used a clip from the day before, but it was necessary for what I was doing. So like. I had planned that out. But as far as needing to find other footage, so far I've been doing pretty well. I've been hitting my my time mark between five to ten minutes and uh, we'll see how today goes. Today will be the day probably because I'm filming this right now and talking about it. But yeah, they're going well. It's actually really late right now, so I don't want to push this much longer, but they're going well, and I'm still glad I'm doing them. And I'm able to get my point of view out there, which I didn't think I was going to be doing so much, but that seems to be the way, that seems to be what comes out sometimes, just for no reason. And I think that's cool, so here's to another vlog, and I gotta start editing, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Good night and be good.